so I hear you want to edit fast. I got you. It's been a little while since I've done like a proper tutorial. Feels really good. Okay, so now that I'm doing daily and even before on YouTube, you kind of have to be a really, really fast editor. And a lot of people have been asking me about the daily and editing and how long does it take to edit? And typically I, I answer with, it takes about an hour or two for me to edit a vlog. And a lot of times the response is like, really, that's it? It's true, I'm, I'm a pretty fast editor for the most part, but there's some key things that I do to really speed up my editing workflow. And I think if you incorporate some of these things into your workflow, you're gonna increase your editing by a lot. I'm pretty sure. So you pull up to your workspace in front of your computer, there's one thing that you need to do, the first tip before you even start, and that's no distractions. Get rid of any distractions that are gonna stop you from just focusing in 100% into your edit. For example, for me, nowadays, a lot of times I'm editing after my kid goes to bed because my kid is a big distraction. Um, he's always screaming and yelling and wanting to play and I just wanna hang out with him. It's a big distraction, so I don't even try try to edit for the most part when he's around. Actually, I'm, I'm curious. Let's see what Matt does to uh, get rid of some distractions. Speak of the devil, are you being distracted by your phone? Uh, we're exporting. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're good, you're good. What do you do uh, to stop yourself from being distracted when you just need to edit hard? What do, you, what, do you, what do you do? Usually I don't want my phone in sight, so I'll throw it like up here, then they can't see it. Because usually when you're editing and you see something go off, you, you stop. You don't want to break that, that flow. That's a great point. If, as soon as you see something flash on your phone, you're probably going to stop editing and you're going to ruin your flow and then it's going to take a little while to get back into it again. Thanks for that tip, Matt. It really does make a big difference because there is that flow state that you get into in editing and it takes a little while to get into it. So if you're always being distracted, you're, you're losing that flow state and you're always having to get back into it. So no distractions, tip number one. Now, let me ask you a question. How many of you have started an edit, maybe you get 30 seconds into it, and then you start it from the beginning and you watch the whole thing. Then you edit another 30 seconds, then you go to the beginning and you watch the whole thing again. I've done that before. I'm pretty sure all of us have done that at some point or another. And so that's tip number two. Don't keep re-watching your edit from the beginning all the time. Stop it, you're wasting your time. And I'm no mathematician, but I'm pretty sure your editing workflow will exponentially get longer as the edit gets longer and you're re-watching it over and over again you're gonna end up taking hours and hours of time just watching your video over and over again what I recommend is try to get through as much as possible and then watch it through make sure there's there's no mistakes or if there's things that you can tweak or make better do that at the end do not keep re-watching your edit stop it stop it right now the third thing that we do to speed up our editing workflow is to have a music library. So we all know that it takes forever to find the right songs. So instead of having to look for music every single time you start an edit, we every once in a while take a couple hours and look through all the music that we like. We download those songs, all different types of music, different genres, everything that we like. Then when we actually go to start an edit, we don't have to start looking through all the music, we just look through the music that we like, it's all music that we like, and you're just looking for the right feel or the right match for that edit. It really, really speeds things up. And if you don't know where to look for music right now, I highly recommend Epidemic Sound or Music, but I think they both have a free trial right now. So just start downloading some music for your videos. Make that bank or library of music that you can then go to really quickly. That will 100% make your editing workflow a lot faster. Man, it's one of the most tedious things having to look for music, but this helps a lot. Tip number four is keyboard shortcuts. And I feel like some of you still haven't quite understood the power of keyboard shortcuts. You're literally doing a whole bunch of things with just one press of a button. Things happen that quickly. And editing is one of those things where you're doing the same things over and over and over again. So if you're having to find a tool or do a thing over and over again with a few different clicks, it's way faster to do it with just one button push. 
like that. A few of my favorite keyboard shortcuts that maybe you don't know of are first of all, add edit. Essentially it just adds a cut so you don't have to grab the razor tool and then click on it. You just press one button, boom, now you have a cut in your timeline. The other one that I use all the time is a ripple trim and you're gonna have two different ones. You're gonna have ripple trim previous edit to playhead and then you're gonna have ripple trim next edit to playhead. And how this works is you take your playhead to the spot on your footage that you want that clip to start in and then you're gonna press previous edit to playhead and then that's gonna make a cut and it's gonna shift it all the way over to where your playhead is. This is one of the fastest ways to edit to music. You're basically just gonna find those little beats and you're gonna press uh, QW for me, those are my shortcuts, Q and then you're gonna go to the next beat W, then you go to the next clip, find out where you want it to start, Q and then where the next beat is, W and you just keep doing this over and over again. It's a really, really fast way to edit I highly recommend you check out those three keyboard shortcuts and all the other ones too. Know them all. And finally, tip number five, you need presets. We literally have a pre... <coughs> I think I'm coughing because of those bugs I swallowed on that bike ride yesterday. I feel like there's still something in my chest. That, that's not healthy, is it? <coughs> We literally have a preset for everything from the color grade to motion graphics to even our audio tweaks. We have a preset for everything and that makes things so much faster because you're having to do those things over and over again. So having a preset that pretty much does all of the work for you, you just drag and drop it and you're done almost. It's a really fast way to get through an edit. Uh, so for example, with the color grading right now, I've just been putting on an adjustment layer for the whole timeline and I just drag and drop my color grade preset on there and then I just tweak a few of the clips if needed. But that's it. It's a really fast way of color grading. With the motion graphics, you just drop it in, change the title, easy, fast. And then with the audio, I'm literally just dragging and dropping the audio preset and that's it like barely ever do we touch the audio, maybe a, a little tweak here and there, but pretty much just drag and drop. And that's why I've chosen to sell all these presets because it's been such a big help to me. I feel like it's only fair that you guys have the same tools as, as I do to make my films. So if you're interested in any of the presets, uh, they're all linked down below in pretty much every single video, really easy to find. Highly recommend making your own presets or buy the presets that work best for you. So there we go. That's how I've been able to really just dial in my editing workflow and make it as fast as possible to the point where it takes me about an hour or two to edit a vlog, which is one of the reasons why making a daily vlog has been a lot more sustainable for me. If it took me four, five, six, eight hours to edit a vlog, there's no way I could do a daily vlog. I just wouldn't have time for anything in life if I was taking that much time to edit these. But at the same time, I still wanna put in a lot of production value using a nice color grade to make the footage better, using audio presets to make the audio sound better. I still wanna have that higher production value and not just skip out on all those things. That's why I do all of these things to have that higher production value, but with less time editing because there just isn't enough time when you're doing a daily vlog. All right, I think that's it for me for uh, today, but uh, I'll be back tomorrow with, with another vlog. That's the great thing about a daily vlog. There's a video every day. And if you haven't been watching them, well, now's a good time to go back and watch some of the other daily vlogs. See you tomorrow.